What's up everybody, we are back with another Exotic Weapons and Catalyst video and this one is on the Dragon's Breath Exotic Rocket Launcher which is a solar power weapon. So let's get into weapons perks. The first perk is Volatile Launch. This weapon is optimized for an especially explosive payload so it greatly increases the blast radius but slightly decreases the handling speed and projectile speed. The next perk is Black Powder. This weapon's explosives are more effective so it slightly increases the blast radius but decreases stability. The origin trait is High Octane. Igniting nearby targets partially replenishes the fuel. This weapon refills itself from reserves upon gaining maximum fuel. The next perk is Short Action Stock. This weapon is especially easy to grip, so it greatly increases the handling speed. And then the final perk is a kill tracker for PvE and PvP. The intrinsic trait is Composite Propellant. Rockets embed themselves in struck targets and periodically eject incendiary fuel that inflicts scorch. The longer this weapon goes without firing, the more fuel the next rocket contains. As for the exotic catalyst, this weapon replenishes its fuel faster. Also, defeating targets with this weapon causes them to periodically drop fire sprites, and fire sprites are the little floating solar energy flames that replenish your solar abilities. So a brief history of Dragon's Breath in the Destiny franchise. Dragon's Breath goes all the way back to year one of Destiny 1 and specifically with the first expansion, The Dark Below, which was a small expansion that released in December 2014. There were a couple of changes to the Dragon's Breath from year one to year two, but now we have the version that's here in Destiny 2. So fast forward to Destiny 2, and Dragon's Breath was not added to the game until Season 23, Season of the Wish, which ran from November 2023 to June 2024, and that was the fourth and final season of Lightfall, or Year 6 of the game. And that was an extended season lasting over 6 months due to the delay of the final shape. For Season of the Wish, Dragon's Breath was the Season Pass exotic weapon, and what that means is that it was an exotic obtained from the Season Pass. So players who purchased the Season Pass got it right at level 1, while free to play players obtained the weapon at level 35. After a season ended, that Season Pass exotic weapon got sent to the Exotic Archive. So to obtain Dragon's Breath in Destiny 2 today, you will load into the tower and go to the Monument of Lost Lights, which is the Exotic Archive, and then you will go under the Lightfall Exotics, which was year 6 of the game, and you will find Dragon's Breath right here. It will cost you 1 Exotic Cypher and 100,000 Glimmer. Once you obtain Dragon's Breath, you will back out of the Exotic Archive and go over to Banshee44, the gunsmith, because he will have a new exotic quest for you called An Old Flame, and this quest is how you obtain the exotic catalyst for Dragon's Breath. And this is how all Season Pass exotic weapons prior to the final shape worked. Once you obtain the weapon, then Banshee had a quest for its catalyst. And these Season Pass exotic catalyst quests are typically three-step quests. And the first step is typically to have to defeat targets. For this one specifically, you have to defeat 50 targets that are scorched and defeat five bosses. In the second part, you have to calibrate data by doing the core playlist activities and defeat targets with that Season Pass exotic weapon, so in this case, Dragon's Breath. The calibrating data part takes the longest because when it was the active Season 4 to Season Pass exotic weapon, you actually got bonus progression from the Season Pass for this step, but that does not apply to older Catalyst Quest, unfortunately. And you only get like one or two points per completion, but you do get a little bit more on the higher level difficulties. But after you complete this step, the final step is to return to Banshee to obtain the Catalyst. After you obtain the Exotic Catalyst, to upgrade it, it requires 400 kills with Dragon's Breath. So to recap the video, to obtain the Dragon's Breath Exotic Rocket Launcher, it is purchased from the Exotic Archive in a tower, and it is found under the Lightfall Exotics. To obtain its exotic catalyst, it is acquired from an exotic quest called An Old Flame, which becomes available from Banshee44 right after you obtain the weapon. And then to upgrade the catalyst, it requires 400 kills with Dragon's Breath. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like down below. Also, make sure to subscribe because I have other videos like this available, and I'll see you in one of my other ones.